Hello and welcome to Maths Made Easy. Today we are going to learn how to multiply and division using log table. But before we begin, I request all the viewers to subscribe this YouTube channel because this keeps me motivated. Thank you very much. Okay, our first question is 94.56 into 1.754. We are going to multiply these two number using log table. Okay, let us assume this product as x. So we have x is equal to 94.56 times 1.754. Okay, now we will apply log. Log on both the sides. So log x is equal to log of 94.56 times 1.754. Now we will take log inside the bracket and we will use the next property of log. Log a times b can be written as log of a plus log b. Now we are going to work on this. As always to find log you have to make sure that before decimal you should have only one digit. So I can write 94.56 as 9.456 times 10 raised to 1. Now, in the log table, okay, we are going to use this property again here, log a times b for this part. So we have log of 9.456 plus 1 log of 10. Since log a raised to x can be written as x log a. Now, if you refer the log table, we can find 94 in column number 5 and mean difference 6 you will get this number 0 0.9754 plus 0 0.003 0 0.003 is the mean difference 94 column number 6 in mean difference and since log 10 is equal to 1 so we have only one over here similarly here 17 in column number 5 is 0 0.2430 and 17 in mean difference column number 4 is 0 0.001 so now after adding all this together we get log x is equal to 2.2197 but we need only x so I'm gonna apply anti log now anti log and log cancel so we have only x over here anti log of 2.2197 in this case we have to identify this is our characteristics and this is our mantisa characteristics is used to decide the decimal point so uh, real working is on mantisa 0 0.21 we are going to look 0 0.21 row number 0 0.21 column 9 and mean difference 7 so i have here 1659 but our characteristics was 2 and if you remember in the anti log lecture characteristics plus 1 is 3 since here is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so my decimal point will be after 3 digits so 165.9 so the value of x is equal to 165.9 which we can say that 94.56 times 1.754 is approximately equal to 165.9 remember that log and anti log will always give you approximate calculation not accurate they are going to be approximate that's why always don't forget to use this symbol okay we move to the next one this was multiplication now the another example we are going to see is division for the simplicity i use the same number just dividing here 94.56 divided by 1.754 We'll start with the same thing let x is equal to and then applying log on both the side and then there is a property of log log a upon b can be written as log a minus log b so taking log inside will give me log a minus log b now again i have to write this 94.56 in terms of 9.456 since i need only one digit before decimal so log x is equal to log of 9.5 uh, 9.456 times 10 raised to 1 minus log of 1.754 now again we will use the property of log a into b in this part so log will go inside 
log 9.456 plus log 1 log of 10 minus log of 1.754 now you know how to find the log of 9456 in last example we have seen so i'm going to write it like this 0 0.975 plus 0 0.003 plus 1 since log 10 is equal to 1 1 times 1 is 1 log of 1.754 is minus this is the minus outside sign signature and log of mine log of 1.754 is 0 0.230 plus 0 0.0010 this is from the mean difference now we are going to add all of them together so we have log x is equal to 1.7317 now but i need x so i will apply anti log anti log and log get cancelled so we have anti log of 1.7317 now again characteristics and mentisa characteristics is going to help me to put the decimal point real working will be on mentisa 0 0.731 and mean difference 7 i got my number that is 53.92 actually 5392 but since my characteristics is 1 and you know the formula characteristics plus 1 that is 2 so my decimal play decimal point will come after two digits that is 53.92 so we can say that 94.56 divided by 1.754 is approximately equal to 53.92. Okay, next we are going to see another example that is square. 39.50, 39.45 the whole square. Remember that for this one we are not going to do like this 39.45. 39.45 not going to ap apply log two times and then add and then take anti log anyways that is also easy but i'm going to use another property over here so let x is equal to 39.45 the whole square applying log log x is equal to log of 39.45 times uh, raised to 2 2 log of 39.45 which is equal to log of 39.45 plus log of 39.45 which is same as if you would have done this 39.45 times 39.45 so either way is okay if you will if you want to write this two times and then apply then multiplication will become plus since this is a property of log or else you can just take two in the side which is also same so now applying log of log on 30 3.945 times 10, 10 is to 1. Taking log inside will give me these two parts. You will be looking in the log table 39, column number 4, and mean difference 5. So we have 0 0.5960 plus 1 since log tan is equal to 1. Sorry, this was not supposed to be there. Hmm log x is equal to 2 times of 0 0.5960 plus 1 log x is equal to 2 times of 1.569 since we are going to add 1 in here so we have log x is equal to 3.192 applying anti log anti log of 3.192 see there we have characteristics 3 so characteristics 3 plus 1 remember this 4 and now we are going to use 0 0.19 column number 2 0 0.19 column number 2 is 1556 okay there was characteristics characteristics was 3 plus 1 it is equal to 4 so our decimal will be after 4 digits so 1556.0 this is approximate answer of our square so 39.45 the whole square is approximately equal to 1556 i hope you learned from this video if you did then please subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in the next one thank you very much